Disney and Marvel Studios are certainly not the only companies scrambling to juggle release schedules and production timelines in the year of the plague, but they may have the most complicated task ahead of them thanks to the complexity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While movies like No Time to Die and Wonder Woman 1984 can probably survive a little disruption in their release schedules, Disney depends on its MCU projects hitting their cues in order to preserve the integrity of the overarching story that links all the series and films. Thus, the bad but predictable news that came from Disney on April 3rd is especially tough for Marvel Phase 4. Let's break it down. Rewinding a bit, in mid-March 2020 came the news that production on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in Prague had been halted due to government measures in the Czech Republic intended to stem the spread of the coronavirus. Then, as it became clear that movie theaters won't be opening back up anytime soon, Disney was forced to reevaluate the upcoming release dates for some of its biggest films. Here's the rub. The changes that the Mouse House announced on April 3rd don't just impact April and May movies. The effects on the MCU ripple all the way out to 2022. Isn't it beautiful? A world beyond time. In film, scheduling changes often have cascading consequences. The entire release schedule is designed to avoid major conflicts. If a studio releases two tent poles on the same weekend, they run the risk of cannibalizing their own ticket sales. So when you punt one big film to a later date, it often means shifting the big movie that was originally scheduled for the second date, and so on and so on. According to Variety, Disney's new release schedule includes some major changes to Marvel Phase 4 projects, including Black Widow, The Eternals, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and the fourth Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. Other big-budget family flicks like Indiana Jones 5 and Jungle Cruise have also been affected by the changes, though the shuffling of the MCU appears to be the most significant repercussion of the rescheduling, for fans and Disney both. Buddy, you all right? Yes, I'm fine, why? Why is it look all right? As fans know, Phase 4 of the MCU will kick off with Black Widow, a prequel flick focusing on Scarlett Johansson's super spy-turned-Avenger. That's still very much the plan, but Black Widow has just been delayed from its intended May 1st debut all the way back to November 6th. That means Phase 4 won't begin until this fall, throwing the entire plan off course. It also means that Black Widow has taken the spot of another Phase 4 staple, The Eternals. Obviously, Disney and Marvel aren't going to release two movies on the same day, so The Eternals has to move to February 12, 2021, the day that Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was meant to open in theaters. Shifting Black Widow to what's ostensibly the other available release date for a Marvel movie has created a domino effect, with each Phase 4 MCU film now occupying the date that its successor was initially slotted in. Shang-Chi will hit cinemas on May 7, 2021, followed by the reality-bending Doctor Strange sequel on November 5, 2021. Disney and Marvel gave Thor Love and Thunder a totally new release date not previously listed on the 2020-2021 MCU schedule, February 18, 2022. So far, Black Panther 2 is the only Phase 4 film that hasn't been rattled by the change. Our second jaunt to the utopia of Wakanda is still on the books for May 6, 2022. That film will be followed by another direct sequel, Captain Marvel 2, which is set to hit theaters on July 8, 2022. While these shifts should preserve the MCU's hard-rot continuity, in some cases they represent nearly year-long delays. What about the new mutants, you ask? Well, the news is even worse for fans eagerly awaiting the X-Men's repatriation to the Marvel canon, especially after 2019's underwhelming Dark Phoenix. After being delayed three times before, the new mutants has been postponed indefinitely. It joins the ranks of Woman in the Window, Antlers, and the personal history of David Copperfield, all Disney-owned projects currently stranded without firm release dates. Sure to frustrate fans is the fact that many of these delayed projects are already in the can. Instead of kicking them to streaming, Disney has decided to hold them back in an attempt to salvage some kind of theatrical release. Just how these changes in the film division may affect the release schedule on Disney Plus isn't entirely clear, but we'll continue to keep you up to date as the situation develops. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.